Hi everyone! Today we're going to be discussing an ecological issue called habitat fragmentation. Habitat fragmentation is the process by which habitat loss results in the division of large, continuous habitats into smaller, more isolated remnants. This process breaks up native habitats, makes it harder for them to support native plant and animal species, is often due to human intervention, and affects species worldwide. Three terrestrial reasons for habitat fragmentation are deforestation, roads and highways, and fences. Forest fragmentation is a result of deforestation. Humans cut down trees for resources, but this affects the surrounding environment, even if we're only cutting down some trees and leaving parts of the forest untouched. When we clear-cut areas of forest, we divide the forest habitat into smaller sections, which changes the dynamic of the ecosystem. For example, the caribou. There is a lot of forest fragmentation in the tundra, so caribou and deer are drawn to areas of younger forest for plant consumption, which are found at the edges of the forest that have recently been cut down and are now growing back. And having prey more accessible attracts predators, such as wolves, to the smaller hunting grounds with increased open space. This increased access to prey is beneficial for the wolves, but detrimental to the caribou, which is an at-risk species. Roads and highways have become a huge issue in several habitats. Humans build roads and major highways to improve travel and the transportation of goods from one place to another. However, this not only divides the habitat, but the now fast-driving, large vehicles prove to be a threat for any animal trying to cross the road. Turtle species have been horribly impacted, as wetlands are often fragmented by roads. Turtles living in wetlands often try to cross the road to get back to their nesting sites and are often hit by cars while crossing due to their slow-moving nature and the speed at which the cars are driving. Our last source of fragmentation that we are going to discuss today are fences. If you're walking through your neighborhood or drive past a farm, you will probably find fences everywhere. Have you ever thought about how your backyard fence might impact the animals living in your area? Humans put up fences for a variety of reasons, such as property lines, keeping pests out, keeping pets inside designated yards, and sports fields. We may not think about it, but fences obstruct animals from passing through to the other side of their habitat. For example, in Australia, farmers have installed dingo fences to prevent the wild dog from eating their flocks of sheep. This strategy, however, creates a division through the middle of the habitat, which is home to many more species beyond the dingo. Fences along roads have caused huge populations of emus to reroute and find alternative ways to get back to the other side of their habitat. Habitat fragmentation is one of the many effects our actions have on the environment. Now that we are aware of these issues, construction plans and deforestation efforts should be considered much more thoroughly before any action takes place. We must think before acting and weigh all of the options so that any alterations we make to the environment do not cause damage to those who live there.